The summer is all about heat, and when it comes to fashion and style and outfits, you can't do the things that you would normally do any other time of year. You can't layer heavily or use additional clothing to make the outfit more interesting. Technically, you could, but in most cases, you wouldn't be comfortable. Today, we're looking at quite a few ways that you can make your outfits more interesting without simply wearing basics like a t-shirt and jeans or shorts. If you're new to the channel, I am Rio, and here we discuss men's style and fashion topics designed to help you guys look and feel your best. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and set notifications to all so you'll be notified for future videos. I find that most people in the summertime will usually default to something like a t-shirt, maybe a graphic tee, a tank top, just something that they feel comfortable in. Those options may be cool, no pun intended. It doesn't present you as a stylish person. So here's a list of eight things that you can do to improve that. Number one, ditch the graphic tee. I know and understand that graphic tees are essentially like a wardrobe staple for a lot of people. I myself own maybe a handful of them, not as much as I used to. And the main reason for that is they lack versatility. A graphic tee does not allow for you to wear it in many ways as you could with a lot of other things. And because it's so detectable, someone's gonna easily know if you repeated the same shirt or if you wear it very often. In reality, graphic tees are really seen to be, I'ma just say it, immature. They're not really the thing that stylish people look to wear. If you're wearing a graphic tee, in most cases, you're wanting to represent or display something. You're wanting to showcase something. Your favorite brand, your favorite TV show, your favorite movie. Those are things that you wear graphic tees to showcase. Yeah, they can be good conversation starters. They can really show a bit of personality. It can show what your interests are. But if you're looking to elevate your style, ditch it. Instead, wear basic t-shirts. Basic meaning just simple and a plain color. White, black, gray, earth tones, neutrals. Those are the things that you want to go with. And it's simply because they're way more versatile and you can wear them with way more things. And if you do have to layer, they make great layering pieces. Number two, wear tops with buttons. Now, this is one of the things that I've leaned into for the past few years and one of my favorite cheat codes in the summertime. A lot of times people want to result to t-shirts, tank tops because they want to utilize minimal coverage. Buttons can be unbuttoned. For that reasoning, they just give you way more versatility to showcase a little more personality within your garment, within your outfit. So instead of wearing graphic tee to do that, utilize buttons to do that. Maybe ask yourself like, how do I showcase personality with my buttons? Simple and how you button them. A shirt has a lot of buttons on them. A full button shirt allows for you to button it any kind of way you want to. That's how you show your personality, by doing it the way that you want to. If it's just gonna be unbuttoning the top four or five buttons, maybe you wanna button one button of the shirt, two buttons, maybe you wanna skip buttons. Never mind, don't do that. <laughs> that looks kinda tacky. Do what makes you feel comfortable. Even with me saying that's tacky, you may like it. Do what makes you feel comfortable. One of my favorite things to do is just button it in the middle and leave the rest of it unbuttoned. Or if I'm not only buttoning one, I button the two middle buttons. That allows for you to create almost two V shapes, one at the top, one at the bottom. It actually gives the outfit a little more dimension, creates a little more depth within that top and the bottom piece. And if you're looking for a place where you can buy affordable and stylish pieces to add to your wardrobe this summer, or any other time for that matter, then check out Kufandi. Kufandi is today's video sponsor, and they've actually been featured on the channel before, about a year ago. And what I personally like about Kufandi is that you can sustainably and affordably build in a central wardrobe. From pieces like this knit vintage style bowling shirt, which is such a stylish piece perfect for the summertime. Or maybe this band collar Henley short sleeve shirt, lightweight and breathable, soft and moisture wicking, another perfect summer essential. And you cannot, I mean not, go wrong with a pair of white linen pants in the summertime. Linen and loose fitting with drawstrings at the waist. I'm not sure which cream summer more than that. All three pieces are excellent options for stylish summer wardrobe. And if you wanna check out Kufandi, I'm gonna link them down below in the description section. Check them out. Number three, it's okay to wear long sleeves. I find that people typically stay away from long sleeves during the summertime because it, of course, covers more of your arm. You wanna have as little coverage as you possibly can get. Long sleeves doesn't really provide that for you. In that case, most people are gonna opt for short sleeves. T-shirts, polos, tank tops, it's okay to wear long sleeves. Like buttons, they allow for you to show a little more personality within your piece. If you're wearing a long sleeve, it's simple. 
roll up the sleeves. Rolling up the sleeves just gives it more dimension. It just gives it something more. It just gives it something more to look at. And how you roll up those sleeves, you're gonna get a different look every single time. So how you roll your sleeves is gonna be different than somebody else. And that's where that personality comes in at. Whether you're rolling up just to the forearms or to the elbows, there are different ways that you can do that. And if your shirt is breathable and lightweight, man, you can wear long sleeves all the time. Number four, you can layer. One of the things I typically hear about a drawback in the summertime is that you cannot layer. Of course, as we know, layering adds dimension to your outfits, more visual interest, and allows for you to be more creative with your outfits. Summertime, you can't do that. That's where we go back to our buttons. If you have a button top, use it to layer. The key for layering with a button top is going to be a tank top. Tank tops for the past few years have become very popular and there's a reason for it. My personal favorite is gonna be a white tank top, but you don't only have to wear a white. White, of course, stands out more because it's the brightest color that you can wear. It's gonna have the biggest appeal. It's gonna be more contrasty. It's just gonna pop. Maybe you wanna wear something with a different color. Try whatever color that you like, black, navy, gray, pink, purple, I don't, whatever you like, just try out tank tops and see if you can make it work for you. But layering is going to give you more appeal and visual interest with those summer looks. Utilize button tops and utilize tank tops. This one may be a little bit more controversial. Maybe not. Five, you don't only have to wear shorts. A lot of you typically in the summertime default to shorts. Shorts, of course, as we know, provides the least amount of coverage for your legs. They don't give you as much to look at. And this list is really about how you can do this in a stylish way. So if you wanna wear bottoms that give you more visual interest stylishly, don't make it all about shorts. Now I'm not saying to wear heavy denim or dark jeans. What I'm telling you is to utilize lightweight fabrics for your jeans, utilize light colors in your bottoms. As a matter of fact, some of my favorite bottoms right now are lightweight denim. Lightweight denim has become very, very popular and they're perfect for the summertime. Number six, linen or linen blends are your friend. When it comes to your bottoms, linen pants are also gonna be the best option to go with during the summertime. Linen is a wrinkle prone fabric. Certain fabrics blended will cause them to wrinkle a little bit less but wrinkle or not, it's so breathable that I actually don't mind the wrinkles or a little bit of wrinkles for that matter. Whether that's gonna be linen pants, linen trousers, linen shorts, a linen shirt, man, you can't go wrong with that. Something that's nice and flowy. I'm sure you can even probably find linen shoes. All I'm saying is linen is going to be a best friend. Lean into it. Number seven, embrace loafers. Loafers have become very, very trendy and very popular over the last few years. Now, me personally, I've always liked loafers. Some people see them as like more of an old man shoe. And I can get that because older guys typically do wear loafers, but that's kind of the direction that fashion is kind of naturally taking its way to, especially with the quiet luxury or the old money aesthetic. Loafers is a very big part of that aesthetic. Right now, the lug sole or the chunky loafers is in trend, but there's so many different styles. Depending on the style that you get or the style that you go with, they're always gonna be casual. The thicker lug soles lend them to be more on the street side, while a low profile leather sole lends them to be more on the dressier side. Whether they have a soft sole, also very popular, penny loafers, tassels, loafers are just the it shoe right now. So if you're looking to elevate your style and you want something different than your typical sneakers, loafers is the way to go. Number eight, go heavy on the accessories. I don't mean slapping a whole bunch of rings on every finger, throwing on like five, six chains. That's not what I'm talking about. Utilize them at their fullest potential. If you're wearing that button up shirt like I talked about and you got the first four buttons unbuttoned, utilize that empty space with a necklace. Somewhere around 20 to 22 inches is gonna be perfect. Add a little pendant on there, you're good to go. Throw some rings on those fingers. Maybe, maybe you want, not wanna use a ring finger unless you actually are married. I'm not married, but I just like the look of this one, so I use it for that purpose. Index fingers, middle fingers, pinkies, perfect choices to add rings on them. Don't go overboard. Two to four max, maybe two on each hand. That's a good way to go. Utilize head wear as your additional accessory. Of course, when we talk about headwear, the most common is gonna be a hat, but it also doesn't even have to be a hat. It can be a wrap, it can be a headscarf. It, there's so many different ways you can utilize accessories just to make your outfits more interesting. Bucket hats, fedoras, baseball hats, whatever you find that works better for you and your personality or the type of look that you're wanting to go for, utilize it, make it more interesting. And of course, we have the wrists. A gentleman always wears a watch. This right here is a cheap Casio watch. I think it was like $20. Watches don't have to be overly expensive to carry out a purpose. Utilize a watch to elevate that look. Bracelets on your wrist elevates the look. And then lastly, 
not just an aesthetic, but also protects you from the harsh elements, the harsh rays from the sun, sunglasses. Sunglasses is gonna always make you look more stylish. Protect the eyes, use a headwear, a necklace, a watch, rings, bracelets. Boom, there you go. That's what I mean by have you on accessories. Those are the eight things that you can do this summer to take your outfits from looking like eh, to looking like whoa. Let me know what you think about those eight tips. And if I miss anything, comment down below and let me know what would you add to this list? What are some of the things that you guys do to elevate your looks during the summertime? Thank you to Kufani for sponsoring this video. Again, they are linked down below. So be sure to check them out to add some stylish and affordable pieces to your wardrobe. If this was your first time here, subscribe and click the bell to turn on notifications so that every time I post, you will be notified. That does it for this one, but I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace.